Hello everyone, hope you are all doing well. Thank you so much for watching my videos. In this video, we will be continuing the video from the last section where we were covering the topic on calling seafarers. Last video, we had seen the introduction and the preparation of the call. We will just quickly run through what we saw in the last video and then continue in the present video. I will put the link to the last video in the description box. Calling Seafarers Maritime Platform Objective What are the objective of this training? It is basically to make the call to the seafarers or to the any candidate more effective. How we need to convince the seafarer or the candidate to accept the position what we are proposing them. Okay? You will also understand various aspects of calling the candidates and how to make a more informed cold calling to the seafarer or the candidate. Topics. We will be covering the topics of calling in three broad areas. The first area will be before the call. The second area will be during the call or the actual call. The third area will be after the call. Okay, these are the three areas we will be covering which is divided into preparation of the call, opening call, information stage, presentation stage, closing the call and after the call. Okay. Then we also saw the video on 212 degrees. 212 degrees is basically 100 degrees Celsius which is just 1 degree above 99 degrees. 99 degrees the water is liquid and at 100 degrees it becomes steam and it has the power to operate big machineries like car, the engine, the ship, you name it. So the difference is basically one degrees. So this one degree is what is changing the attitude of the person who is recruiting. So this we saw in the last video. Then we saw the gap is very small. Do differently. Don't take it too seriously. These are the topics we saw in the last video with regards to preparation for the call. Okay. Have a target. Use more you or you are. Know them more. Know the seafarers more. You should you should understand them, their psychology, their mental thoughts before you talk to them. Self-discipline is very, very important. Practice, practice, practice. You need to practice everywhere, anywhere possible. Pre projection and prepare. So you have to write down the rejection which is possible from the seafarer's side and prepare the answers for it. Positive preconditioning. Preconditioning is basically before the call you have to mentally boost up your morale, think positive thoughts and you should be confident on convincing the candidate to join the vessel on the position which you are looking for. Practice everywhere. As I mentioned earlier, you need to practice in the bus stand, you are waiting in for a train, you are in the library, wherever you talk to the unknown people so that your practice increases more. Be positive, be confident. Preparation for the call. Have all the information regarding the vessel, GRT, DWT, BHP, trading area, age, nationality of crew, if internet on board. These are the points which we need to know before you go for the call. Okay. In this video, we will cover other points also where the preparation is required before you make the actual call. Okay. The first point, you should know your company, you should know your vessel, you should know what you are going to offer to the candidate. As I told you, the call should be around the seafarer or the candidate. So he should be able to grasp from your call that what he is going to get out of this conversation. Go through the CV thoroughly, see age, gaps in the CV, anything peculiar, changes in the company. CV gives you an immense information on the background of the seafarer. I have made a special video on this topic where you can see what are the information we can get from the CV and how to decipher it. More important is the deciphering of the information what is present in the CV. See age, gaps, age of the seafarer is very very important criteria. Gaps in the CV, is he taking any breaks, what was he doing during the breaks, anything peculiar, 
like he has gone from a good company to a bad company or he has done regular con continuously short contracts or he has done some law very long contracts so all these things are usually peculiar which is not seen in other cvs changing companies how frequently he is changing the companies every contract is changing companies or he is a steady ca candidate from cadet ship to master or chief engineer or something like that these are the information which you will get from the cv check hrm this hrm is nothing but a software which you will have uh, this human resource management software you will have a software in the company if you don't have at least you will have ma managing an excel sheet where you would have written all the calls you are making what what are the last remarks when is the when is the cfr ready all this information so you should always go through that maybe he last time he told you something like he is going on a vacation or he has his uh, kids birthday or you can when you start the call you can ask him how was your how did you celebrate your kids birthday how was the vacation etc so you convert the cold call into a warm call okay so that it is not a person who you don't know it's a person who already you know okay script script is very very important you need to have a script script is what is basically a checklist it is not you need to by heart the script and you have to go through line by line word by word from the script script is just a guidelines it it is a checklist where helps you or guides you in asking all the right questions and to get all the information which is required for you to propose to the seniors and place him on board it is it is sometimes happening like you know the recruiter calls you and then after 5 minutes he says oh sorry sir i i forgot to ask this can you tell me this so this this gives a very not so good opinion about the recruiter who says ki he doesn't know what he wants and he keeps calling me for the information which you could have taken in one call you should always remember the cfr is on leave it is not your time it is his time he has completed his contract and enjoying his leave and we should not be disturbing him too much okay think of reasons he might say no and have answers ready for each as i informed earlier you need to preempt projections you need to think of questions which he might ask and you have your answers ready list out the questions write it down so that you get it in your mind and then have the answers ready because the fluency is very very important if you are stumbling mumbling during the call he might feel this person doesn't know what is doing yeah so please always write down the questions which have been asked and prepare answers accordingly be positive be confident that is very very important and i believe me the cfer or the candidate can see you through the phone he can see how positive you are he can see how confident you are smile and lean forward similarly like positive and confidence he can see you through the call he can see you through the phone if you smile he will know it if you lean forward and you are interested he will know it okay so please be very positive before the call have some preconditioning positive preconditioning before you go into the call i am not telling you know you have to have a you have to listen to a big uh, motivational speech before every call no just one line you know you just see i i can convince this cfer to join the ship that's it you know there is a small preconditioning yes i i can place this guy on the ship so that that positive confidence if you have in him that confidence will flow through the phone to the cfer the candidate with whom you are talking to okay next topic is opening of the call we will stop the video here in this video we have seen the preparation of the call which is a very very important part of any calling which you are doing for a seafarer or a candidate thank you so much for watching the video we will see you in the next one